We are quickly approaching turn 200, which means that the wars are going to get bigger and the settlers are only going to continue to kind of fly out here. And I'm mostly referring to America and the Aztecs here. Those wars are going to continue to increase throughout the eras and, uh, and they are still so much land for these two to settle. Wow, Poland declared war on Russia. I also saw that Scythia declared war on, uh, and on Samaria over the break. Yeah, things are getting crazy, crazy up here uh, in Europe. The big news out of Poland, Poland's doing really, really well. Let's hope that they continue to settle. If you're rooting for Poland, uh, they, they're, they're, doing, they're doing good. Um, I don't think anyone inside of Europe has a big enough army to make too big of a, a, of a difference. I'm not exactly sure. Samaria has a pretty big army, but Afghanistan and all their units are actually causing some issues east of the Caspian Sea because, you know, all these units are, are in the way. Uh, we don't know. Who has the suzerain bonus over this city state? I think it might be India. Uh, India doing well and doing the best they can with the with the land that they're given. They might start going after Indonesia. There's only a handful. Ooh, Scythia continuing to settle. Bam, right there. Uh, approaching China quickly. China is going to be in a pickle, especially if there's some sort of alliance between Tamiris and Gandhi. Oh, that would be the worst thing ever for China. That would not be too well. Wow, France, where did you find another city? Uh, I'm always interested to see where the Europeans find cities. Boom! In Spanish lands, pretty much. Barcelona has settled in Africa. That's the first uh, European civ to uh, to make it to the African continent. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Congo, I think, are going for uh, Cleopatra's capital here. You better watch it. Yeah, the fall of uh, the fall of Cleopatra's capital would be, well, pretty much it for Egypt and it for a lot of people, actually. Where did England settle now? How are you finding all these spots? It's not, I don't, I have no idea. Oh, boom, Birmingham. Birmingham, Birmingham, oh man, this, no, I don't want to bring it up again. Uh, I don't want to bring it up again. My pronunciation is so bad. I just keep forgetting. It's not Birmingham, it's, it is Birmingham, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> okay, there, yeah, Cleopatra's capital is completely undefended, which means, which means Movemba might potentially go straight in there and take everything. Uh, this is, you know, easy for an AI to navigate, open terrain, uh, you have Movemba's unique units out, all this ain't good, this is not good if you're Egyptian, if you're uh, an Egyptian, a part of the city, or if you are rooting for Cleopatra in the comment section down below, it's, it's bad either way. I think Rome will be going finally after North Africa, they should have done that, like, a lot longer ago, you would think they would. Uh, you know what, I think, I think the Congo might get a little bit of support from Arabia, it seems like. Arabia with a ton of swordsmen. And again, I think we predicted it in the last video. Egypt is just too spread out. They are just far too spread out. And they, you know, they don't have... They have their chariot archers, but none of them is protecting their cities. We'll see what the Congo do. Oh, horsemen came. Okay, that that is actually going to be enough that might save them. Just a distraction. Just a little bit of distraction. Maybe a few units will die. Uh, that will allow the bombardment from the city itself to take out maybe these units one by one. It'll be close, though. It will be close. How's Gilgi doing against Scythia? It's a it's a stalemate, because this Caspian Sea is here, so it's kind of tough either way. Uh, how about Poland versus Russia? Seems to be pretty even for the most part. Ooh, we've got a plundering. We've got a plunder taking place. Well, it, it did happen. Uh, Shrine was pillaged, at the very least. Uh, Poland looks good, but again, I don't see any European besides, like, Norway. Norway's looking really good with their army, and maybe it's just because they don't have all that much land, so it's more... Their armies are more consolidated. Um, France looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not really looking at their, their technologies. I'm just looking at the number of units that they have under their control. Uh, England, same way. It's just hard to, to gauge because obviously the civs that are expanding will have military troops all over the place. Like America, for instance, is expanding like a ton. But they're... Wait, where is their army? They legit do not have an army. America has no army. How is that possible? I mean, it's possible because maybe the Aztecs took them all down. I mean, not, not all of them, but took a lot of them down. That's likely. Toronto might be the only savior for America right now. Because the Aztecs have a ton of troops. Oh, they do. They do. And I think we are going to see some tension between Brazil and the Aztecs build up. Remember, those two went to war in the last video. That was a big deal. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but that could lead to future implications. Is Japan going for the Philippines? I think they might. Oh, Japan, I love you. I would love to see like an Indonesia colonized by Japan. We, you know, in Civ 5, we always saw like weak Japans. Norway has declared war on Poland. Vanilla Japan was not very good. I always had to use mods to make them 
too good. I mean, this is like the first time I've I've been proud of Japan in a really long time in an AI only battle with a TSL start. Ooh, okay, so Norway could be going for the New World or maybe possibly Iceland. Norway declared war on Poland. That that's the big news, but uh no, I don't think anything's going to come out of that because there's this, you know, little lake right here. Not much room to expand. Samaria has made peace with Scythia. Okay. So no cities have exchanged hands yet, but we knew that. We knew that was going to happen because there's just not enough uh, navigation room right here. No navigation room. India, you also desperately need, like, Malaysia or something because uh, if you allow Japan to get all this stuff, which we don't know if that's what Japan wants, Japan might be doing something else. I'm really happy to see that these settlers are being escorted. Uh, that's kind of cool. we got all of Australia still untouched. I don't. I haven't even really seen any boats near Australia. It's gonna take some time. Look at that. We've got some uranium out here. Oh man. All right. I mean, it makes it worth it. It makes it worth it. Congo founded another city. The Congo are gonna look good. The Congo are looking really, really good. Uh, because, I mean, they might not take anything from Egypt. Yeah. This ended up kind of falling back on them because because Cleopatra had just enough, just enough. Those horsemen are gonna keep them, I think, ultimately alive. Boom. Rome is going to settle east of uh, Egypt's capital. And uh, we'll have to see if Spain continues to go after North Africa. That's kind of their only spot. Yeah, they've got two settlers chilling. And Norway found a new city. Oh, it is going to be. I think it's north of... There it is. Bam. This forward settling in this game is, uh, is, is, just, is just crazy. It's too much. You guys are extra right now. You guys are really... You don't need to be settling all that much. And all this forward settling. There's other spots. So Rome did find another city, I think, in Africa. Did would they? Did they? Wait, where was it? Oh no, oh, oh, I'm sorry. They 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 yeah, they didn't actually press the guy down. I see. I see. I see. Drew sees now. Hey, good for uh, good for Egypt. I mean, their walls are going to be kind of crumbled, but that's okay. They're I mean, Cleopatra just needs to defend herself from Haran. Haran is the only uh, at, at this at this point their their biggest threat because I think they're going to survive against the Congo at the moment. Uh, anything going on here in India? Indian territory? No, I don't see any settlers. Do we do we know where this guy's gonna go? No, Japan has. We still don't have enough of an idea there. Japan and the Aztecs might be uh, getting into it. The Aztecs just so aggressive. Montezuma is so aggressive. And here's the thing: I mean, his time is kind of passed. It's turn 177. Uh, he needed to do a lot more in the early game, but I don't think he is. And Japan has their samurai, so be careful. Be careful, those gonna those are gonna be tough units to take down. Aztecs have found a new city. Jeez, that's crazy. It, wait, it was in Central America, wasn't it? Boom. Yeah, but not towards Brazil. It was off the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. We're gonna see Teddy do the same thing. So definitely my top ten list or my top five list has got to be the same. The Aztecs, America, uh, Brazil, the Congo, in no order. And that fifth place spot is really up in the air at the moment, because uh, if. If Europe doesn't actually, if someone doesn't come out of Europe, then this is just going to be a huge mess. No one's going to come out of this whole area. Um, Scythia is possibly in that fifth place spot. Possibly China, possibly India, possibly Japan. There's a whole bunch. I really like Poland, but uh, I mean, they're going to defend against Norway. Norway's not going to get anything done. What Norway needs to do is go after Germany. That's their only kind of shot here. Or land enough troops in the British Isles and then try to, you know, Viking invasion. Uh, Vicky, that could be a good idea. Maybe the, the Viking invasion went well for them, right? I, I don't I don't remember <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was there, but you know, I mean, maybe I was I don't know but uh Yeah, I mean if that's uh, oh look at that. Yeah, see England is, is so focused on her territorial expansion into Europe that I, I don't think that Vicky would see an Invasion from Norway at all from the North Sea. They wouldn't be prepared for that but What would they attack because none of these cities are coastally coastal on the east coast manchester is but that's a pretty nice gulf that they have here they're they're kind of safe yeah they're kind of safe leads wouldn't be easy it would have to be kind of a land invasion down that's like the only way it's like the only way turn 180 all right that's that's good to see everything seems to be going pretty smoothly obviously things have slowed down which i'm kind of glad because i can actually now start to actually get an idea of uh what's happening is there is this a war what is it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I missed out on this. That's why I'm glad things are slowing down a little bit. I completely missed that Rome had pillaged. The Wait, what is happening? There is a war, but why aren't you? 
Why aren't you taking the city? Ooh, what is happening here? Greece has nothing. That's that's really bad. Uh, that is that is obviously really bad. You got everything pillaged. I mean, even if you, even if Rome doesn't take anything, which they really really do, um, then uh, were you building the terracotta army? You are. That's a really good wonder. Wonder. Oh, it's under construction. Okay, so never mind. You're you're still building it. Yep, under siege. I didn't I didn't see that icon until now. I apologize. Uh, but Rome isn't attacking it for some reason. I don't know why. You get a battering ram. Oh, they are. But they're not melee attacking it. Maybe their legions can't do enough damage. The catapults will do certainly enough. Okay, so if Greece falls to Rome, which I don't know if the AI is going to have a huge, mis you know, a huge just uh, dumb, dumb thing that takes place right now, which we could be witnessing that right now. But uh, if Rome, Rome manages to, to take Olympia, if they take the, the Greek capital, uh, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. That opens up a possible... Uh, war with, or, well, just a better position to attack Germany. But uh, Germany would still be tif difficult too. That's actually that's the only thing that really opens up. I mean, I guess you could go after the city state. Oh, there they go. I think they were. I think the AI was uh, waiting to. Wow, this is big. Uh, I think the AI was waiting for some reason. They wanted to get a few catapult shots in there or something. Maybe they wanted to pillage the crap out of it. I I don't know. You uh, you tell me. Turn 183. Uh, oh, Sparta is their capital, not this one. I got I got confused. I got confused about what Greece we were talking about here. Uh, so I think they're I think that Greece will stay around. I would like them to actually take them down. Like it'd be cool to actually see a sieve completely die. I don't mean to be so so mean right now, but it would be kind of cool to see that. I don't think that is what we are about to witness. Okay, so Rome. This is a big pickup because they needed it. And I forgot that Rome has all of North Africa to expand to. So there it is. Weird that we don't see a notification when a city gets taken, but we see every new city that's settled and uh, every war that's declared, every peace that's declared. You'd think that that would be a notification up here. All right, so this city's done. You would think that it, it would be. It's it's likely. Oh, man, that's, that's pretty big. Is that the first city that we've actually witnessed fall? Yeah, I don't think it's the first city to fall in general, but I think it's the first city we actually watched fall in front of us. Well, that's, yeah, that's definitely it. Uh, the Aztecs have finished a wonder. What what did Japan do? I don't know where you're going. I think you're going for Madagascar, dude. Are you going for Madagascar? Really? Okay. China is uh, is settling up this way. All right. In, like, Siberia. Japan looks good, too, but uh, this, this is exactly what America needed. They needed another threat for Montezuma in the West. That way, there's a little bit of distraction that's going on. They really needed some sort of distraction to take place. No one has settled the uh, the Suez. I mean, that's not a good... I bet you no one does either, because it's not a good spot, no matter what. Uh, Brazil having a fun time. There there goes the Aztec of Brazilian War. I figured that was going to happen. I think Brazil tried to attack Buenos Aires at one point, but it didn't go so well. It's Yeah, it's not going to go so well either if they try it in the future. Wow, look at, look at Spain. Spain has some troops on them. Holy crap. Yeah, they got a, they got a ton of troops. All right, and then that was even more barbarian. So I don't know what happened to uh, to Gorgo. Remember, she doesn't peace out with people. She's not going to give up any cities in a peace deal. But uh, I don't know what happened to Gorgo. She just crumbled. We saw barbarians pop up in the last video too. These barbarians are ultimately going to kind of help defend her, keep her alive. I will say that. They're going to pillage her even more, but uh, it's going to keep her alive for a little bit longer. So that's that's good. That's real good. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. We'll have to see what happens in the next one. Uh, there is still, there are still some pretty big wars I think that are going to take place inside of Western Europe. They seem to have the biggest armies I are in Western Europe because they can't expand. So they're just building up these armies, and uh, and the arms threat is uh, becoming a bigger and bigger deal. So what war do you think is going to break out inside of Europe? I think something has to come because the tension is way too high uh, between France, England, Spain, and uh, everyone around. Obviously, Rome expanding into Greek lands. Uh, so the tension, are, are, the tensions are going to re remain high throughout this campaign. Uh, so something, I think, is about to break in the next video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.